Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Free Agent Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for our Reapers. In the Sim, we uh, won the first game against the Platypi 5 to 4, then won the second game in the Sim 5 0 against the Heaters. And then the game we played, we got roughed up by the Bee Wolves, losing 13 to 7. And then we followed that up in the Sim by losing to the Grapplers 9 to 2. So it was a 500 episode, nothing gained, nothing lost in the record department. And we're moving into today's game against the Wild Pigs. Between these two teams, we were deciding to play the Wild Pigs game over the Hot Corners because the Wild Pigs have a winning record and the Hot Corners do not. And then we were going to sim past this next Wide Loads game with Givener on the mound. And then I think our next matchup, we were going to go see maybe the Buzzards because we've seen the Nemesis already this year. We've played the Buzzards, I believe, as well. Or actually, no, that's the first time we'll see the Buzzards this year, so that's perfect. That'll be the next team we see. Alrighty, so today's matchup, Reapers committed 8-8. Eight eight. On the mound will be right-hander Burl Chinning, as he's 0-2 with a 5.19 ERA and a 1.56 whip. And for on the mound for the Wild Pigs, it is their ace, Wes Yogurt, to counter. Yogurt 1-0 with a 3.63 ERA and a 1.12 whip. Elite changeup is his trait. It's been a while since I've seen Wes Yogurt. Actually, I've ne I'll, fun fact, I've never played against Wes Yogurt here in SMB4 until this very moment. So, I've always been missing his starts. Lineup we're using today, leading off in the DH rolls, Burl Chinning. Batting second, locked in at catcher, Camilla Cuffingham. Batting third at first base today, Teresa Ketchum. Batting fourth at second base, Yacker Asherbaum. Batting fifth in left field is Axel Tork. Batting sixth in center field is Vinder Hawkins. Batting seventh at third base is Nomar Stubbs. Batting eighth in right field is Walter Walter. And batting ninth is 10th shortstop, Yips Frazler. And lineup for the uh, Wild Pigs looks like this. Leading off at second is Bloop Michaels. Batting s uh, second in left field is Enrique Goyo. Batting third at first base, Spanky Wagner. Batting fourth, D.H. Rosie Hardman. Batting fifth, shortstop, Snag Roper. Batting sixth is catcher, Ernie Blings. Batting seventh, third baseman, Roberto Alba. Batting eighth, center fielder, Man and Moon. And batting ninth is right fielder, Flash Evans. Let's jump into it and have some fun today. As we get it on here at Founders Field, we're going to be getting wild today. Of course, will we be the ones running wild, or will the Wild Pigs run wild? I don't know. Wild Pigs, obviously, here in the series, uh, they come in with power, uh, speed, lots of speed, and they have decent pitching in the starting end and in the bullpen. However, the team severely lacks any contact or defense. So they do have obvious holes. But so far early on, halfway through the season, they're 11-5, and five, and they're leading their division. So they're doing something right. Right now, they are covering their weaknesses very well. Let's see if we can expose them today. Leading off is Chinning at the DH slot today. He's also pitching. Hitting 235 with an RBI on the air. And Wes Yogurt on the mound, 1-0, a 363 ERA and four starts. Ten runs given up, nine earned, and 112 whip. 22 and a third innings pitched, so he's averaging almost six innings a start. 20 hits surrendered, uh, five walks, two homers, 16 strikeouts, and a batting average against the 233. Solid numbers for Wes. Change up up, strike at the letters, 0-1, and Wes is still a three-pitch pitcher that I remember him has. That's why if I ever get a chance to pick him, I always avoid him because he only has three pitches. It becomes very predictable after a while. Change up inside misses, 2-0. Checked in there, strike called actually, one and two. And the cutter hits the low inside corner for a strike, and Chinning is down looking to start the game. Cuffing him up next, catcher locked in, contact for righty active, hitting 375 with three homers, eight RBIs on the air, and she has her contact trade boosting it up. Changeup hits the high corner away, 0-1, nice start from Yogurt. Changeup ripped the first, but right at Wagner for the second out, and that'll bring up first baseman today, Teresa Ketchum. Mind Gamer active, hitting 364, two homers, seven RBIs on the year. Change of hangs, middle of the zone, line to center, but right at Man and Moon, and that ends the inning. Good pitching from West, bottom one. Michaels, Goyo, and Wagner do up against Chinning. Blue Michaels leading off, second baseman is bad ball hitter active, hitting 229, three homers, eight RBIs, bit of a slow first half of the year for Michaels. They'll look to turn it around here in the second half as Chinning comes on the mound tense. Burl on the season is 0-2 as a pitcher, 5.19 ERA and a 156 whip. Tenor and runs given up, four starts, 17 in the third innings. 22 hits surrendered, five walks, two homers, 12 strikeouts, batting average against the 306. Chinning is averaging just over four innings a start. Not great. 
Heater at the knees on the first pitch, and that is sent out over the right center field wall. It is getting wild early here. Luke Michaels hits his fourth homer as a leadoff man, and that is one nothing Pigs here in the first. One pitch into the game. Left fielder Enrique Goyo up with power versus righty active, hitting 167. Two RBIs on the air. He also has the base rounder trait, so his speed increases as he rounds the bases. Third ball away on the first pitch. Foul back, 0-1. Heater down and in. That's called strike this time, 0-2. Two seam ripping in. High, 1-2. and two. Slider hangs, that's fouled back, thankfully he missed at 1-2. Heater down, good block by cuffing him, 2-2. Purple down and in, chopper to second, Asherbaum there. Takes it himself on the first, one down. First baseman Spanky Wagner up next with first pitch Slayer, hitting 274, three homers, five RBIs. He also has the Butterfingers straight there at first base. Not a great trait to have on your first baseman, but I believe he's the only first baseman they have that's any good. Even if he can't field. Curveball bounces low, ball one as that takes care of his trait. Two seamer inside, off the plate, it's 2-0. Of course, he's away, strike called, 2-1. Slider up and away, lined in the left center, that's going to be down into the gap, that's going to be extra bases for Wagner as it rolls to the fence. Hawkins gets it in quickly, but it is still a double for Wagner. <laughs> Cleanup hitter Rosie Hardman up next. DH has high pitch active, hitting 333 on the air. Four homers, 10 RBIs. Good start to the year for her. Easy jumps active for Chinning, now with a runner on base. Already increasing Wagner's decent speed. Curveball up and in, hangs out of the zone. Ball one. Slider down the way is fouled off out of play. One and one. They seem up the way, chased it outside. One and two. Four seamer off the plate inside. Two two. Purple down the way is in the dirt. Three two. They seem inside, ripped foul out of play. Count remains full. Pushing it down in the way, chopped hard in the middle of the short, diving his frazzle behind the bag. Nice play, throw to first, gets the out. Nice play, yips, two down. Going to third on the play is Wagner, and that'll bring up Snag Rope with the shortstop with the RBI chance. Hitting only 2 of 6, three homers, not RBI. It's not a great hitting season for Roper, but he is a very one of the few actually competent defenders this team has, and that's good for your shortstop. Peter up and away in the first pitch, check swing strike, 0-1. He's even down in the way, grounder to second, right at Asherbaum, throw to first, in time to end the inning. Home run, though, to lead off the game by Boop Michaels, makes it 1 nothing to the second. Asherbaum, Torque, and Hawkins do up. So, uh, second baseman uh, Yacker Asherbaum up, leading off the inning, hitting 288, five homers, 15 RBIs, solid stats for Yak. Facing uh, Yogurt. Change up up, that's a strike at the letters, 0 1. Change of misses low and away, 1-1. One, one. Cutters outside, 2-1. Hit it down and then dumped to right center field, sinking quickly. It is down for a base hit. Nice hit, Yak. He's on to start the second. That's our first hit of the day. Here's left fielder Axel Torque. Hitting really well so far this year, 386. He has five homers and 14 RBIs, one off of Asherbaum's RBI total. Heat up and away, chased at 0-1. Change him down, lifted over short. That is down for a base hit in the left center. <clears throat> First two batters on here for the Reapers in the second. Looking to capitalize. Here's Vinder Hawkins. Center fielder hitting 407, two homers, four RBIs. Looking to drive him uh, forward. Infield a double play depth here. First pitch from Yogurt. Change him hits the top of the zone. 0-1 his little hack activates for Hawkins. Heater up, chased it out of the zone this time, 0-2. Heater down on the way, line to short, right at, second right at Michaels for the first out. Is everybody, and they call that an infield fly? <laughs> okay. 
I don't think it was high enough to be an infield fly. One down. Here's Nomar Stubbs. Third baseman is struggling this year mightily through the first half, only hitting a 174 with four RBIs and no homers. Peter up with on at 01 as he missed that one badly. Cutter up hard, chopped through the middle, diving as Michaels cut it off, flips the second one, Roper to first, double play, and that ends the inning. And Nomar Stubbs continues not know, to not know how to hit the ball. Bottom second, it's 1-0, Blings, Alba, and Moon do up. Here's Ernie Blings, catcher hitting 267 with a homer and an RBI on the air. Ernie, the backup today, getting the start for Frank Battery, who's taking the day off to rest as that curveball misses low. Ball one. Heater down, check low, it's 2-0. Two-seamer way out of the zone. That's 3-0. Peter inside off the plate. That's a four-pitch walk, and Ernie didn't even have to take the bat off his shoulders. Run leadoff man on for Roberto Alba. Third baseman hitting 231 with a homer and an RBI. Two-seamer down in the way in the first pitch. Strike call. A one. Nice pitch there. Force him down and in. Broken back grounder back to the mound. Chaining dodges the shrapnel. Throws the second one. Ashbaum on the first. Double play. You love to see it. Two down. Bases empty for Man and Moon. The center fielder in the eighth slot today. Power is already active for him. Hitting only 225 here through the first half with three RBIs and no home runs. Very poor offensive season so far for Moon. Curveball down. Misses low in the first one. Ball one. Slider way inside, almost hits him in the gut as he backs away, 2-0. Peter away, check swing, 2-1. Triple down and in, low, 3-1. Two-seamer away, ball four, second walk of the inning for Chinning. That rhymed, nice. And good speed on it first in Man and Moon. Here's Flash Evans, the right fielder, in the nine slot, hitting 283 with a homer and four RBIs. Not a lot of power output here for Flash, but he is hitting decently, hitting over 280. Pick off the first, and they knew Moon was going, and they've got him in a rundown. Here we go. Browser will be the one to tag him out to end the uh, rundown. Good pit, pick off there by Chinning to end the inning to the third. It's 1 0. Walter, Frazzler, and Chinning do up. Right fielder, Walter Volter, leading off, hitting 333 with an RBI. For Man and Moon, his caught stealing there was the first time he was tried to steal all season. He's 0 for 1. First pitch to Walter here. Heater in there at the knees from Yogurt, 0 1. Heater away, whiffed on at 0 2. Change up and in, pulled foul out of play. It's 0 2. Cutter up and away, pulled the third on the ground. Alba makes the play, 1 down. Yips Frazer up next, nine hitter hitting 304, two homers, four RBIs, made a nice diving play in the field earlier to move him back to neutral mojo. Has the bunter trade active here. Chase the heater high, I did not mean to swing there, actually a one. Cutter at the knees, popped up shallow right center field, Moon races in, he's there. Easy second out of the inning. Got to bring up Burl Chinning, pitcher 0 for 1, struck out looking his first plate appearance. Change up in there at the letters, 0-1. Change up down, pulled the third, one hopper. Alba makes the play. 1-2-3 inning for Yogurt. Bottom three, it's 1-0. Evans, Michaels, and Goyo do up. Here's Flash Evans, right fielder is bat bat reset, sitting 283 with the homer, four RBIs. Heater, middle of the plate. Hard grounder past uh, Stubbs in the left field. That's a base hit. <clears throat> and even faster speed is now on. Michael's up, let off the game with a home run. So far, that's the only run on the board for either club. Swung at the first pitch he saw. Pick off first, and they got Evans in the run down now as they knew he was going to be going. Asherbaum tags him out for the first out of the inning. 0 for 2 attempts on the, for the Wild Pigs on stealing today. Evans is fourth time being caught this year. He's five for nine. First pitch curveball down on the way to Michaels. Pulled foul out of play. 0 1. Two seamer up and in. Check swing strike. It's 0 2. Four seamer up and away. High. 1 2. 
Spider hangs, pulled down the left field line, but he's out in front of it, one and two. Chasing him away, chased and fouled back, still one and two. Well down and then, lined over short, leaping Frazzer out of his reach. It's a base hit in the left center, rolling to the fence. That's going to be extra bases again for Michaels. He'll be in with a double this time. He's two for two, and he's on, locked in. Enrique Goyo up oh, for one today. Pick off the second, nothing doing. Pitch out, runner does not go, 1-0. Now he goes, curveball down and then as a strike, throw down by cuffing him to third, is no shot of getting him at all. Michaels took off, he'll steal third. He's three for four now on steal attempts this year. 1-1 one, one the count here to Goyo. All he needs is a sack fly now to bring him home or a deep grounder. He's even down in the way, is fouled off, one and two. Move the infield in here. Chasing ripping in. Chased and popped up behind second. We drew the infield in, and they're going to get a base hit out of it as Asherbaum cannot get there. It is a bloop single for Goyle driving in a run. It's 2 nothing Pigs, of course. My penchant for strategy does not pan out. Wagner up next one for one with a double. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Pitch out, off the glove of cuffing him, and now Goyle's going to move up for free. He's in scoring position, 1-0. Her ball inside, off the plate, 2-0. Heater down in the way, 3-0. Busy up and in, runner goes, high ball four, throw to third is late. Goyo steals third. Third walk of the day for Chinning, here's Hardman, 0-1 today. Goyo's first steal of the year, he's one for one. Put ball down in the way in the first pitch, check swing, strike at the knees, 0-1. Pushing him down and in, lined grounder into right field, it's a base hit. RBI single for Hardman, it's three nothing, Pigs. Next up, Roper, 0 for one today. Heater up on the first pitch, high, ball one. He's him down in the way, runner goes for third. Cuffingham throws down to second to keep the second runner from advancing. Stolen base for Wagner. Spanky's first of the year, he's one for two. One, one count here to Roper. Her ball inside, foul back, one and two. He's him down in the way, way off the plate, two, two. Flatter way outside, three, two. Pushing down and then checked inside, ball four, and that's the fourth walk of the day for Chinning. Base is loaded here in the third for Blings, who walked his first plate appearance. That was a race on the double play. You see him down and then strike called, 0 1. Heater away is outside, 1 and 1. Curveball down, misses low, 2 1. He's him ripping in. Inside, 3 1. Leader down in the way. Blasted deep to center field. Hawkins on the run. Running out of room. Dives out of his reach. And that is going to be extra bases. And that is probably going to clear two of them. It is 5 0 Pigs. Four runs home in the inning. Alba up next, 0 for 1 today. He's tense. Chinning rattled. He's him in the dirt. Good block by cuffing him. Ball one. Heater down and in, fouled back, one and one. Slider put in. Alba pops it up to short. Frazzler back, shallow left center. No infield fly call this time, two down. And here's Man and Moon who walked his first plate appearance. Then was picked off trying to steal. Four seamer up and away, outside, ball one. Curve ball down, check strike, one and one. He's even down in the way is low, 2-1. Heater up, sky ball, deep left center field. Moon gets a round on it. That is not coming back. And it is getting wild here again at Founders Field. Three-run homer for Man and Moon, his first homer of the season. And it is 8-0 Pigs.
Seven have scored in the inning. And they bat it around. Here's Evans, one, one with the single. Curveball ball hangs in there, strike called, 0-1. Peter down in the way, fouled off, 0-2. Slider been away, blasted to right center, hit well. Volter on the run, leaps off the, off the wall, bounces away. Is a double for Evans, the inning continues. And here's Michaels, 2-2, two two, doubled last time up. He's also hit a solo homer. Two seamer up on the first pitch, fouled back, 0-1. Peter down, that's low, one and one. Dribble down in the way is outside, two one. Two seamer middle of the plate, hit well, left of center. Hawkins races back to the fence. It will stay just in the park. He'll put it away to finally end the inning. Eleven men come to bat though, and seven score off a of chinning. Eight nothing to the fourth. Cuffingham, Ketchum, and Asherbaum do up. And Yogurt has a big lead to work with. Cuffingham leading off, locked in, 0 for 1 today. Contactors ready, active here. Yogurt now locked in as he's gotten through the first three scoreless. As that's in there at the knees, 0 1. Change ups outside, 1 1. Change up down is blooped over short. Easy liner caught by Roper, 1 down. Catch him up next, 0 for 1 today. Heater down and in, that's a strike, 0 1. Change-ups away, one and one. Cutters away, two, one. Cutter down, check, strike called, two, two. Cutter up and away, hit well by catch him to center, but wrong part of the park. Moon back to the warning track, puts it away, two down. Asherbaum up next, one for one with the single today. Chase the change of low and in, pulled as a foul though, a one. Cutter up and in, Asherbaum jammed it to right of center, but that's an easy sky ball for Moon. Another 1-2-3 inning for Yogurt. Bottom four, it's 8-0. Goyo, Wagner, and Hardman do up. Channing done after three innings. He gives up nine hits with four walks. Doesn't strike out a batter. Gives up, I believe, two home runs and eight earned total runs. He's in line for the loss. Subbing in out of the bullpen is going to be nobody. It's going to be... Uh, I'm going to go to Sign Blinder here first. Blinder in the air is an ERA up over 8. 1 0 record, uh, 11 runs given up, 11 innings. Uh, 1 185 whip, 20 hits, 1 walk, 1 homer, 6 strikeouts, batting average against a 370. Peter down in the way in the first pitch from Blinder. Fouled off, 0-1. Going to need him to eat some innings here as Reconda's unavailable. Curveball down and in. Chopper to second. Asherbaum over to his left. Makes the play. One down. Next up, Wagner in one form with a double and a walk last plate appearance. Change it down and in on the first pitch. Strike called, 0-1. Pours him down in the way. Grounder in the hole to short. Frazer over. Ranges. Fires. Got him by a step. Nice play. Two down. Here's Hardman, one for two with an RBI single today. Her ball middle away, whiffed on it, 0-1. Big hack there from Hardman, just missed it. Change it down and in, that's a strike. It's quickly 0-2. Eater up and in, chased out of the zone, and she got to it and actually sends it back up the middle. Tried to get her to chase, she did chase it, but she managed to get the bat on it. Snag Roper up. Curve on side on the first pitch. Strike called, 0 1. Peter up and away. Strike called, it's 0 2. Change it down in the way. Fouled off, still 0 2. Peter up and in, way high, 1 2. Curve ball down at the knees. Fouled off, still 1 2. Peter up and away. Blooper to second. Ashbaum charges. Picks it to first in time to end the inning. 
Good pitching sign. Bottom to the fifth. It's 8 nothing. Get beamed. Beamed knockout coffee. It really hits you. Now batting the left fielder, number 60, Axel Torque. Hold on, guys. I'm sending a text message real quick. All right. Torque leading off here, 0 for 1 today. Or, no, he's singled. That's right. Change it misses high on the first one. Ball one. That change is outside. 2 0 count here to Torque. Good hitter's count. We'll see if he gets something to hit. He did, but he checked it. Cut her down and in was low and inside. 1 0 2 1. Change up over the plate. Foul back. 2 2. And chased it up and in. Strike three. Second punch out for Yogurt. Everything's turning up west today. Two down. Here's Vinder Hawkins over one. Cut her up and in. Strike called. 0 1. Little hack activates. Change up in his chase, popped up to short. Easy play for Roper. Two down. Next up is Stubbs. 0 for 1 today. Grounded into a double play his first time up. Line game are active. Change up, ripped up the middle. It's finally a base hit. There you go, Nomar. Finally gets on base. Too bad nobody's on. Two down, runner at first. Here's Walter. 0 for 1 today. Number 10, Walter. Walter. Change up up, sky to center. Easy play there for Moon on the first pitch. And that's going to end the inning. Yay, another zero. Bottom five, we're halfway home. We're down eight nothing. Blings, Alba, and Moon do up against Blinder. Curveball ball hangs, line to left of center. Hawkins on the run, gets there for the first out. Next up, Alba, 0 for 2 today. He's tense. And a few guys not to have a hit. Peter inside is blooped down the left field line. Torque racing in. He'll get there for the second out. Now to bring up Moon, one for one with a three run homer and a walk today. Foul, four seamer outside, misses, ball one. Change it down, fouled off, one and one. Well down and in. Moon chases it, pulls it foul, one and two. Peter up and in, off the plate, two, two. Change it down in the way, fouled off, still two and two. Peter away, outside, 3-2. Triple down and in. Check swing off the plate. We don't get the call. Ball four. Fifth walk today for the pitching staff. First for Blinder. Here's Evans, two for two, double and a single. Peter down and in on the first one. Low, ball one. Peter away. Chased outside. Nope, check, 2-0. Triple down and away. Foul off, 2-1. Force him up and away. Fouled off. It's 2 2. Change it down and away. Off the plate. 3 2. No call. Runner will be off from first. Third ball inside. Ball four. Back to back walks for Blinder. Here's Michaels. 2 for 3 with a solo homer and a double. Looking to put it out of our misery. Rally stopper active for Blinder. For the first time. Change it down an inch. Strike call to 1. Forcing it down and away. We're grounder into right field. That's another base hit. And the runner's going to try and score as the throw from Walter. Got him at the plate. Nice throw. Walter sniped his ass. Blinder gets through two scoreless to the sixth. Frazer chinning and cuffing him do up. Okay, honey. Now back the shortstop. Number 26, Yeps, Brazler. Brazler up, both for one with a fly out his first time out, or pop out to shallow center. Change it down and in, strike called, 0 1. Out in front of the changeup early on the swing, 0 2. Changeup inside, pulled and chased out of play, 0 2. And we're late on the inside heater. Third punch out for Yogurt. One down. Here's Chinning. 0 for 2 today and Rattled. I'm pinch hitting for him. Coming off the bench to take a crack at it. We're going to go ahead and give it to... Eh, let's give it to Deuter Eldorino. Now 
Hitting 267, no homers, no RBIs on the year for Dude. Change of hangs on the first pitch, lined at the middle. That's a base hit in the left of center, and Sprinter activated there for him, getting him down the line. It is a pinch hit single for El Dorino. He's on with one down in the sixth. Here's Cuffingham, 0 for 2 today. Still locked in, though. Change up away. She waits for it, drives it deep to left field. On the run, back for it is going to be Yogoyo at the wall. He'll put it away. Two down. Now to bring up Ketchum at first base, who's over two today. Flew out to center last time up. She's also uh, grounded out to second. Change up in there at the knees. 0 1. Nice pitch there. That change up's low this time, missing. 1 and 1. Change of middle in, ripped the right field on the line, but right at Evans, and that ends the inning. Bottom six, it's 8 nothing. Goyo, Wagner, and Hardman do up. Blinder coming off. He gave us two good innings. We're going to go ahead and give it to Horace Heimlich next. Heimlich with a 485 ERA. Uh, what else he's got going on here today? 0-1, uh, 8 runs, 7 earned, 2-3-1 th two, whip, 7 appearances, 13 innings, 1 save, 26 hits, 4 walks, 2 homers, 8 strikeouts, batting energy against 419. Okay. As gets ahead in that elite four-seamer trait. Heater up and in. Fouled back by Wagner. Down to play. Or Goyo. 0-1. Curveball down and in. That's chopped up the middle, and that is a leadoff single there for Goyo here in the sixth. Next up, Matt Wagner. One for two with a double and a walk today. Change it down in the way in the first pitch. That's lined to center off the end of the bat, though. It's right at Hawkins. One down. Hardman up 2 for 3 today. Two singles and an RBI. Of he'll be down and in. Low. Ball 1. Throw ball down and away. Low. 2 0. Change up away. Check swing. Strike. 2 1. Peter down and in. Foul off. 2 2. Throw ball down and away. Foul off. 2 2. He rip it in. High. 3-2. Didn't get her to chase that time. Change with the knees. Line to short. Frazzer dies. Picks it out of the air. Nice job, Yeps. Two down. Wag Roper up. 0-2 with a walk. Force him down in the way in the first pitch. Check swing strike. 0-1. Change it down and in is low. 1-1. One one. Heater away. Outside. 2-1. Bad, bad pitch there. Curveball down in the way. That's lined at the middle. That's a base hit. Roper's first hit of the day. Two on, two down. Inning will continue for the Pigs. Here's Blings. One for two with a double walk and two RBIs. Doubled home two last plate appearance. Change it down in the way. Line through the middle, and that's a base hit. Base is loaded now. Two down. Up comes Roberto Albo for three today. Looking to break through. Curveball hangs, fouled back, 0-1. Heater inside, off the glove of Ketchum, runner coming home, throw to the plate, and Goyo stuck in a rundown. Torque gets involved, he'll tag him out to end the inning, nice job. Another zero to the seventh, it's 8-0. Asherbaum, Torque, and Hawkins do up. Ashbaum one for two today with a single. Change it down the way, low and outside. Ball one. Heater up the way, high, 2-0. Change of middle plate, ripped by Asherbaum deep to left field, and that ball has been reaped, and the soul has been sent to the shadow realm. Home run for Big Yak, as that's our first run of the day, his sixth home run of the year. It is 8-1, Reapers finally on the board. <clears throat> Got a hang and change. Here's Torque, one for two with a single. He struck out last time up. Change up and in. Hard rip foul. 0 1 out in front of it. Heater inside, late swing. 0 2. Heater away, chase. Grounder to first. Wagner there. One down. Hawkins up 0 for 2 today. Heater up, whiffed on it, 0-1. Little hack activates. Change of chase, fouled off, it's 0-2. Change of 
Change it down, grounder to third, right at Alba. Easy play for him, two down. Base is empty for Stubbs, one for two with a single. Cutter inside, strike called, a one. Cutter from away, line to second, right at Michaels to end the inning. We did get on the board here with the home run, but we're down seven runs. It's the bottom of the seventh. We're not coming back from this one, guys. It's unfortunately over. We're going to sim the rest of this because it's just... There's not much more we can do at this page. Uh, Heimlich would have pitched the seventh in that instance, um, and then if he had gotten out of it, we would have brought Lenata Beta in in the eighth because Rakonda's unavailable, so was Armando Ganuts, our two best relievers, so we were kind of stuck with the rest of our stuff. But they were pitching really well. They had not given up a run up until this point. We're leaving here in the seventh inning. At least we got on the board, so we weren't going to be shut out, but Wes Yogurt is just on another level. Two more runs score on a home run by Hardman. That is in the ninth inning, uh, other than, uh, in the eighth inning. So other than that, that's the only runs given up. So we dropped to eight and nine on the year with that loss. No uh, manager moments here. A couple roster moves to report, though, as we're going to read through these real quick. Uh, Narubwanga is cut already by the Blowfish for Blamo Tamali as they're boosting up their outfield for a push. Werner Bergenberg in the free agent pool, one of the guys we're not allowed to sign in this series as he's an original overdog member. He's up to a B overall after gaining a screwball. Buzzard sign Hans Sliperio, the rookie shortstop. He's going to replace Spitz McKinney on their bench. Uh, Hugs Lavelle released by the Wild Pigs in their starting rotation for Doyen Stafford as they're in first place. Doug Nerdwood, one of the guys in the bullpen, catches falls behind as a trade. <laughs> one of the OG overdogs in the free agent pool. Juanita Hernandez cut by the Crocodiles. They're going to sign young rookie shortstop Dilly Dowler for their bench. Uh, Roberto Alba released by the Pigs after his hitless performance. He'll be replaced by rookie Butt Puckerman. Uh, Peak Physique is picked up by the Pigs as well. He's going to replace Turbo Miles. He's going to be the first baseman over Wagner. He is a uh, actual competent fielder. Wagner will most likely be the DH moving forward. And Phil Fluster is signed to the Pigs as well as he's going to be the closer in their bullpen, replacing Donovan Drake, the worst reliever in their bullpen besides Hondero Specialo. They get rid of their long reliever. <laughs> so we get a couple games to send through here real quick. We're just going to go ahead. Ooh, Crocs are going to hand the Freebooters an ass-kicking. Wow, 14-1. to 1. Jesus. So they're going to move above us in the division race. Platypi win again, moving to 12-5. and 5. Nemesis win, gaining a ground close on us. Grass Eaters win both their games. Damn it. Sirloins beat the Pigs. Platypi beat the Jacks for us. Buzzards lose to the Grapplers. That's great. And the Nemesis win again. That's two in the, for them here in the Sim. Player development. What do we got? Caboosler, chance to lose uh, secondary positions. I don't know if that's this is a good upgrade or not. It might be worth it. Sign Blinder, a chance to get walked from. That's dumb. Bro Boom for Pooch Ponderosa, though. That's pretty good. I like that one. We're not giving you Surrounded. That is dumb. No siree. Uh-uh, nah-uh, nah-uh, no. Chance to lose Sprinter on Duder El Dorino. He doesn't need the extra power. He's already pretty good. Get If this was a 15 or a 10% chance, I would go for it. But 20? Nah. Nah. Just dumb. On my, that's just dumb. All right. Pooch Ponderosa, Bro Boom. Two power to 60, two Contact to 28. No bonus to power. Bonus for contact? No, didn't get that either. Consistent? Nope. Unfortunate. But maxed out loyalty for Ponderosa, and he's a C-plus now. Good for him. And we'll take the risk on this one for Caboosler. Why not? Two power to 62. Two speed to 60. Bonus for power? Nope. Bonus for speed? Nope. Infield down to first base? Avoided it. Nice job. Loyalty goes up for Goose. All right, so we're simming this game against the Hot Corners. They're not doing really well. 7-10. and 10. They're going to have Yolanda Cooper, their young left-hander, on the mound. We'll have our young lefty, Frago Ballon Standos, on the mound. He's been our best starter this season. Let's see how it goes. We are going to win a pitcher's duel 4-1 to one, as Joseph Brosef walks in the last run there. So we do move to 9-9. Nine and nine. At least we're winning in the sim. It sells the ground names. Who do you blame? Oh, Burl Chinning. Easy. This guy has no loyalty. <laughs> you suck, Chinning. <laughs> Scotch wants a new face for the Tropical Swamp campaign. Who do you suggest? Ooh, uh, Frazzler. Please. You're invited to a divorce party. Who do you bring as your plus one? Uh, Falter's been doing all right, but let's do good nuts. All right, so a few more games to sim here real quick, and then we'll check roster moves and such. 
B-Wolves lose, that's good for us. Freebooters lose, not so great. Crocs lose, that's wonderful. And the Moose win, okay. So we're still in third place in the division at 9-9. Nine and nine. Roster moves, Lana Rimes is cut by the Freebooters. They bring in young starter Werner Bergenberg, nice. Take care of him, Freebooters. Werner is a nice kid. Barry Ozone is cut by the Jacks. They're going to bring in Larry LaJoy, a former Buzz Overdog's number two pitcher. Emmon loses six arm. Mark Harbormouth cut by the Nemesis for Charlemagne Charleston, the rookie starter. Crocodon signed Casper Stern, the um, former Overdog's uh, bench outfielder. He'll replace Clifford Kane on their bench. David Diggler loses some junk. Darren Wonderfloss cut by the Moonstars for Archie Alonzo, rookie reliever. Pla Platypies signed rookie Spike Pena to be their long reliever over Chance Lauterbury. And they also release Rusty Nozzle as they bring in rookie starter at Anita Bean. Player development. Ooh, good upgrade there for Swolson. No. No. Ooh, stimulated on Gnuts. Useless trait, but extra pitch would be nice. Extra accuracy is not bad either. No. Uh, no. All right. Let's do. I mean, Chinning does need the accuracy boost, not going to lie, but Surrounded would just absolutely tank him as a starter. Swolson, we're definitely giving him this. 1 1 speed to 68, 1 arm to 25, 3 bonus speed, not going to get it. Uh, blinder, we're not going to give him walk prone. It just doesn't sound like it's a good idea. Uh, Chinning, I'm willing to risk this just because I know we're not going to try and re-sign Chinning next year. We're, he's probably not even going to come back. His loyalty is a zero, so uh, giving him an extra worse trade wouldn't hurt. Gnuts, we're definitely getting this one. Two accuracy to 70. Five accuracy, no. Stimulated? No, that's fine. Ooh, Cutter? Please give him a third pitch. No, damn it. Extra loyalty, though, for Gnuts. Uh, the reason I'm not buying this for Takobi, this is the one chance I'm probably going to have to actually develop Takobi that might actually work out. So I don't want to tank that chance. Channing, on the other hand, I don't care what happens to him. Three accuracy to 40. He needs the pitching ratings. One velocity. No extra five accuracy. That's fine. He does not get surrounded, lucky bastard. What's his loyalty go up to? It doesn't go up. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so next match against the Wide Loads for Simmons this one as well. It's Lumberg on the mound, the veteran, 0-1. 366 ERA and a 142 whipping on the mound for us is struggling Garf Givener. He's getting his ass kicked every start, basically. Sim this game here. Ooh, another bot I get to ban. Yay. Good. Ban that guy. Anyway, moving forward, who's on spittoon duty this week? Uh, let's see. Goose or sign? Let's do sign. I think goose is more valuable to us moving forward. Complimentary sweat bands, and there's one left. Who gets it? Let's give it to Hada. Let's raise that loyalty back up a little bit. All right. Uh, did we win? I missed it because I was banning somebody. We did win. Six to three. That's wonderful. At least we're winning in the sim. A uh, couple of player developments. Okay, Hado de la Daga loses six speed, so his regression is in full force now, the 40-year-old. He is the one, the oldest man on the roster, so I'm not surprised. He's probably going to retire at the end of the year, and if he doesn't, I would be very surprised if he accepts a new contract. 
Boozle Doozy Shine to the Moose. He'll replace Wiggles Freeman there. He'll be the starting third baseman, splitting time with uh, Rip Dingers. Uh, Axel Torque, plus seven arm. Nice, getting better. Ponderosa gets magic hands out there in the outfield. Nice, maybe we can start playing him. Cash M, and it continues to regress in the free agent pool. Okay. Was a violation found? Their violation did occur. Nice. Glad I was able to report that asshole. Perfect. All right, and we simmed all those. We're still in third place. We're 10 and 9. We're a half game now behind the Jacks for second place in the division. And this is where we will pick up next episode. We are going to be taking on the Buzzards at, of course, Shaka Sports Turf. Game 20 of the season. After that game, there will be only 12 left in the year. And we're actually in a fighting contention for a winning record still, which is very surprising to me. I thought by now we would be really far out of it, but we're still hanging around. Tacoby's going to be pitching 2-2 two and two with a 3.09 ERA and a 124 whip, and you know what that means. It's time to put the alternates on. I don't like the Buzzards' regular uniforms or their alternates, but oh well. Erling Elwood will be on the mound to oppose this. Left-hander 0-1 with a 5.62 ERA and a 138 whip, I believe. Yep. Lineup will send out there. There we go. And we're also putting on our alts because Tacoby's pitching. And we'll put on the alts for the buff. Buzzards as well, even though I don't like them per se. It's too much green. It's green versus green. You know what? The greens are overlapping. Just give them their regular home uniforms. <laughs> Please. I can't have that much green. <laughs> Keep them in their white. It'll keep, let them offset us. <laughs> Alright, let's look at roster um, <clears throat> player developments here real quick and then we'll be done for the day, guys. Catch him, chance to improve backup position to infield. I like that. Chance to get rid of Slowpoke for Hotto. I mean, we have the money. We might as well spend it. Wild Thing, I will take this risk for Frogo because he does need the extra velocity. And, and uh, honestly, if he's young, it might be worth the risk. Axel Torque, he needs the extra contact. That's nice. I like that. Accuracy for we're not doing this one, and we're not doing this one. These two are dumb. Okay. So let's do... We'll do two first. So this one is four games, three games, two games, three games. So to catch him's is first. One speed to 41, one arm to 88. Three speed. Not going to get it, unfortunately. Bonus in infield positions? No. But loyalty for catch him goes up, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. These both have one game on them, probably. All right, so then we are going to do this. We'll, we'll save Hottos because he's going to regress anyway. Let's do Frogos here. I'm taking that. This is a big risk, and I'm hoping that this doesn't hurt us. Actually, you know what? We're going to do all four. Why not? Torque up. Four contact to 75. Down one speed to 63. Bonus four. No. Go to first base at backup position? No. Okay. But the extra contact never hurts. And his loyalty is maxed out, too. And he's a B plus. Perfect. All right. We'll save Frogos for last. Let's do Hottos next. Three contact to 75. Bonus three? No. Get rid of Slowpoke? No. Worth a shot, though. Extra loyalty, though, for Hotto. All right, last one, Frogo. This is a big risk. Let's see if you can avoid the wild thing. One V low to 56, one junk to 82. Down one accuracy to 48. Two bonus velocity. No. Bonus four junk. No. Wild thing. He avoided it. Yes. Good job. Good job, Frogo. All right. All right, and there's the lineup we'll set for next episode, okay? It's going to be Stubbs leading off, locked in at third. Then Frazzler at short. Torque locked in and left. Asherbaum at second. Swolson at first. Hawkins in center. Ketchum catching. And De La Dago in right with Tecobi on the mound. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, it was a pretty decent episode, all told. Uh, we started the game playing this one against the uh, Wild Pigs, which we got blown out 10-1. to one. Uh, We ended up playing through the first uh, six and a half innings. We were down 8-1 to one at that point and said, well, it's probably over, so we're going to sim the rest. We then came back to beat the Hot Corners 4-1 to one in the sim and the Wide Loads as well in the sim 6-3. to three. Horace Heimlich vulturing both wins out of the bullpen. Good job for him. When next episode, we are going to be taking on the Buzzards. It's the first time we've seen our division rivals this year, and I know we play them again at the end of the year. I believe we have a doubleheader against them to end the season. So it's our first look at them. We'll see if we can match up with them and gain ground as they are currently leading the division at 11-7, and and we're 10-9, and a game and a half back in third. Let's see if we can shrink the gap next time out. 
you made it this deep, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. I'll catch you on the next episode, everybody. Until then, this is The Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.